In the last class, uh, we studied theory about meter bridge. In today's class, we'll try to do some sum. Take down the first one. In a meter bridge, in a meter bridge, the null point is found at a distance of 16, 60 centimeter from A. The null point is found at a distance 60 centimeter from A. If a resistance of 5 ohm is connected in series with S, if a resistance of 5 ohm Phi ohm is connected in series with S in series with S the null point occurs at 50 centimeter from A the null point occurs at 50 centimeter from A. Determine the values of R and S. R and S. R and S. First take down the meter bridge. Drawing the meter bridge. Between the gaps, we are connecting R and S. This is resistance R. Resistance yes. And here we are uh, connecting the galvanometer G. And then we have a cell connected to a key. Let me say this is L. So here it is 100 minus L centimeter. This is the given picture of meter bridge. Now there are two cases here. In the first case, just we have R and S. And then the null point is obtained at a 60 centimeter from E. Point A lies here. This is point B. Using the two cases, we have to find out what are R and S. In the first case, we have uh, the null point at a distance 60 centimeter from A and in the second case we have the null point obtaining at a point 50 centimeter uh, sorry yes 50 centimeter from point A. Now I will take the case first and then we will write the uh, because it is null deflection the bridge is balanced so we can take the condition of bridge balance we'll write here
under balance condition we have by applying the condition for balanced Wheatstone bridge R by S equal to L divided by 100 minus L given for the first case L is 60 centimeter given the distance from A is 60 centimeter therefore R by S is therefore R by S is 60 divided by 100 minus 60 or it is equal to 60 by 40 simplify we get R by S is equal to 3 by 2 because 0 0 cancels 2 2 are 4 2 3 are 6 3 by 2 r by s is 3 by 2 and in the second case what we are doing is we are connecting a resistance of i ohm in series with s so here we can write when phi ohm is connected in series with s Phi ohm is connected in series with S. When phi ohm is connected in series with S, yes, the next resistance here, instead of S, we will have phi plus S. Therefore, Again, by applying balance condition, we get R divided by S. Instead of S, we have phi ohm in series with S. That will give us the total resistance as phi plus S. Phi plus S. R divided by phi plus S equal to the balance is obtained at a distance of 50 centimeter from A. 50 divided by 100 minus 50 or this is equal to 50 divided by 50 r divided by 5 plus s is equal to 1 Now from this R is phi plus S. Now we have two equations. R by S is 3 by 2 and R is phi plus S. Now using two equations solve for R and S. From equation 1 we can write R is 3 by 2 S. from equation 1 from equation 1 we have R is 3 by 2 S substitute the value of R in equation 2 substitute the above value of R in equation number 2 we get 
r is 3 by 2 s 3 by 2 s is equal to phi plus s or three by two s minus s three by two s minus s equal to five or further simplifying three by two minus one is half s half s is equal to 5 or s is 5 into 2 so s is equal to 10 ohm s is equal to 10 ohm now also find out the value of r r is 3 by 2 s we have we have r s 3 by 2 s which is equal to 3 by 2 into 10 which is equal to 2 1s are 2 5s are 10 which is equal to 15 ohm therefore r is equal to 15 ohm 15 ohm and 10 ohm r is 15 ohm and s is 10 ohm we can write finally the result the values of R and S are 15 ohm and 10 ohm respectively the values of R and S are 15 ohm and 10 ohm respectively The values of R and S are 15 ohm and 10 ohm respectively. That completes this sum.